Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ego Trippin' and I'm back with another video. I am a Bizak with another video. So today I want to try um today I want to do another look using this this using the Smoky Glam palette. Using the Smoky Glam palette by Bella Beauty Bar. It's gonna be a quicker video than the first one, but this was beautiful. This was this was so beautiful, seriously. I just could not believe, I could not believe how beautiful this palette was. The shimmers, um, the shimmer shades were beautiful. Like the highlight shades were beautiful. The mattes blended beautiful. I'm just like, wow, oh, wow, seriously. I just, I don't know, I've never, I ain't gonna say I've never tried a palette like this because I do love Adept's palettes. I love cosmic brushes, but like I got a lot of, I got a lot of indie brand palettes that I absolutely freaking love. I don't know, this color story right here just stands out to me more. And the shimmer shades are just beautiful. I don't know what it is about this particular palette. And it could be the color story because I definitely love the colors. I love the colors all up in here. I really do. Um, so yeah, we, we finna do another look. I think I'm gonna go for, in the first video I said I wanted to hop off into these shades down here because these are colors that I hardly ever like use or run to. Um, out of my comfort zone a little bit, but it's not gonna stop me from put, it's not gonna stop me from doing an eyeshadow look. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, these shades down here, I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna dig off into these shades down in here and try to stay away from these looks up here. I will use one of these colors for blush and use it for maybe a highlight. But I wanna jump off into this, the last two bottom rows. Because again, these are these are colors that I just, like I don't run to all the time. So that's what I'm about to do. If y'all have not checked Bella Beauty by the Smoky Glam palette out, if you like these colors, you definitely, you're gonna love this palette. You're gonna love the formula. And if you like a highlight, you're definitely gonna love it. Now, if you don't like a really out there type of shimmery um, highlighter, these won't be for you. If you're more subtle, like a more, um, like a more softer highlight, then yeah, this, this palette definitely won't be for you because these shimmer shades are kind of like in your face, like for sure. And that's just what I like. So anyhow, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna keep y'all here long. So, yeah, we finna get ready to do a look, so let's hop off into this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna put a, I think I'm gonna put a primer down. Yeah, I am. As a matter of fact, um, where's that primer at? So this is like my fifth or sixth day in a row using this Charmacy primer. I primer by Charmacy, and it works really good. It's a clear formula. And at first I wasn't being attentive to how it keeps my eyeshadow on, but it works really good. I just kind of put a little bit on the lid and then um, rub it across the top of my eye. But it definitely keeps, it definitely um, kept my uh, eyeshadow on there really, really nice. Definitely long lasting. I, I personally like it. Don't need that much. This is good. Whoever Charmacy is, I'm loving their products. I've only tried a couple of them, but it worked real good. It worked really, really good, okay? It works really, 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 really good. I'm gonna start with Overcast right here. So I'm gonna start with Overcast. And I'm gonna put this on the outer edge of my eye. That's what, that's what we are gonna do right now. So that's called Overcast. I'm not sure how that looks. I probably should um, see first. Let me see what this looking like. Okay, so that's Overcast. 
I don't know how it's gonna um, show up on my, oh yeah, okay. So it's like a grayish color, that's cool. I've been liking to work with, um, I've been loving using those tones. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna go in that shade Overcast and I'm gonna put it on the outer edge of my eye right in here. That's pretty. So I gotta try to figure out what eye look I'm gonna do for my brother's wedding on Saturday. Keep in mind, y'all, I am not a makeup artist. I didn't go to school for makeup. So I'm like, I definitely need to figure out, like I don't wanna be too damn glammed up, but I wanna look wedding presentable. So I'm gonna look through my palettes and see, um, see which one will work you know what i mean and the colors are the colors that i'm the color that i'm wearing is burgundy but do i want to put burgundy in the eye look do i want to kind of i don't want to be hard obviously so i want to kind of go neutral like really light neutral so yeah i'll figure it out but yeah we finna um i like that though um I'm liking that. And it's so buildable. It is so buildable. You know what I mean? You can pack so many shades on. Not like I want to pack a whole bunch of shades on, but you can pack so much on here and it, and it still blend out. That is, y'all see how pretty that is? Okay, next I'm gonna go into, I wanna use either, I think I'm gonna use Platinum Princess. So it's like a greenish grayish. It's really hard to, I don't know what that color is. Let me try it. That's pretty. It's a you can see gray, but it got a hint of green in it too, like a really light green. So I'm just gonna pack that on there like so. That's pretty. I'm gonna do the other side, just like so. That primer, oh shit, y'all. I keep dipping in the wrong formula. That primer is really good. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade, Overcast. Pack it up here a little bit more. So I'm packing it up over here a little bit more. That's pretty. Next, I'm gonna, um, I need to blend the edges out a little bit. I ain't gonna go too crazy. 
but I kind of want to blend it out just a little bit. So I'm going to go into Pillow Fight right here, which is it's kind of it's a lighter shade than Platinum Princess. So I'm going to just take a little tiny bit and kind of blend. And then for the gray, um, let's see about Wonderland. I don't know if that's a little dark. I'm gonna try maybe and see if I can blend it a little bit around there. Yeah, so I'm taking this shade right here, which is Wonderland. And I'm just kind of going around this gray. That way we get rid of all the harsh lines. I don't want to do too much. And I'm going to do the same over here. Because I don't want to leave that like that. Like I just, I want to kind of blend that out. Just want to make it a little softer around the edges. take my time so it's not sloppy. And then next, I'm going to build that gray back up just a little bit more. Yes. And so I'm just building that shade up a little bit more. The first shade that I put on the outer edge, which was overcast. And I'm so happy we got a black in this palette. Because I can deepen it up if I want to. On the outer, on the outer V of the eye. Like it's so pretty. Now this palette right here really, really honestly made me want to just play with it so much more. Like after using it the first time, like I was just like, what? And I'm gonna use a couple of those silver shades and I'm just gonna put that right over the glitter glue.
and that glitter glue is gonna stick so good on there with this color. Okay. All right, I think I wanna use Romantic or gum too. So I'm gonna use either, what is it? Romantic or gum too. So I'm gonna use Romantic or gum too. Let me see what these shades look like. So beautiful. So beautiful. So I don't know which one. This one more, this is more of a, um, like a platinum silver. And then this one's like a silver silver. Or uh, dark, darker silver, like I said, whatever you want to call it. But they're both beautiful. So, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. This one got a little hint of purple in there. These are so pretty. I think I'm gonna go with this shade right there first. And then I can use the other one for the inner corner. Yeah, I think that'll work. So I'm gonna go on with Gum Toe. And we're gonna just tap that right in the middle for now. I'm gonna do this the same way. So I'm just tapping that on the middle. That's really pretty. I'm taking it up just a little bit. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Okay. All right. Okay. So the next shade I'm going to is I think I want to do risk. So that's a risk. That's a silver's color too. I didn't want to Oh, that's pretty. They are kind of alike. Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on the inner corner. Um, Yeah, I think that was bomb shit, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Okay, so let's put bombshell right there and then I'm gonna, um, cause again, I wanna kinda stick in the, in those tones, those colors, those shades. So I'm gonna go with bombshell and I'm gonna place that right there. Let 
which is fine because I'm gonna go over it with another color. Okay. That's okay. And I'm just kind of going back into gum, gun metal. I was saying gum metal, y'all. And I'm just blending those together. So that was gun metal and then bombshell. So next what I want to do is I'm just going to take, um, I'm going to take this milk bath right here. Cause it's kind of like a topper, at least I use it for one. And um, and I'm just gonna place that, I just wanna place that right in the middle. And give it a little bit more shine. I think I'm gonna take a little, I'm gonna take this, I don't wanna do black, but I'm gonna do this other, it's like a soft black. And kind of deepen this up. Like I don't want it to be black, black. I still wanna be able to see the gray, but it's a softer black, which I like. You see what I'm saying? It's not so super black, you know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, I love a black shade, but since I'm going for this look, this grayish look, I wanted to, um, I want the gray that I used in the, in the beginning to still kind of show up, so. I like that it's a softer black because the gray can still shine through. I like that. That deepened up cool. And then, um, I guess I could have blended that out a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna take satin sheets, which is this color right here. It's a really pretty burgundy, like, not burgundy, but kind of. It's really pretty. Now I'm gonna take that shade and hopefully I don't mess nothing up. And kind of put that along there. I think I went too harsh over here. I did. I did. I'm 
I'm trying to tone that down some. I went ham. Yeah, I don't like how it went. Anyways, it's cool. It's all right. Okay, let me throw my lashes and then I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. This is the. Look, I'm like, this is the final look. All right, y'all. This is um. This is it. Yeah. All right, what y'all think about that gray? It's kind of like a gray. It's just pretty. I think it's pretty. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm going to try to... I'm going to put on the highlight. I'm going to use... I'm going to put on the highlight. And I'm going to use... I don't know what color I'm going to use. Because it's kind of not... Um, I don't know, let me see. Maybe not from this palette, because I don't see any of these shades. Go on with this look right quick. I'm gonna go on with my Natasha Denona, this color right here, which is so pretty. All right, y'all, I think, um, I think I, I think I did a pretty damn a good job. I think I did. Especially using the gray shades because I, um, I hardly ever use, I hardly ever use these type of shades, but I think it turned out really pretty. I think it turned out cute. So yeah, that's another look using the Bella Beauty Bar Smoky Glam Palette. I think it's, this is such a beautiful, like I am so in a, I'm so in a, oh, let me put a shade in the, in the corner of the eye and then I'm done. Then I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna let y'all go. I think I'm gonna go into, I love that angel eyes. I don't know. How about pink diamonds? Let's go into pink diamonds. Perfect. All right, I think pink diamonds are due. I could have put, um, let me, let me, no, I don't like that. I don't like how that's looking. I'm gonna take that black shade and kind of put that underneath there. Oh, I think I might have effed up.
These colors are so freaking pigmented, y'all. I meant to go in a little lighter than I did here. All right, that's it. Let me go. I'm done. I'm done, y'all. This is the final look. Not bad. All right, let me go for it. So yeah, that's another look using the um, that's another look using the Bella Beauty Box Smoky Glam Palette. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see all you beautiful, blessed people in my next video. I am ego tripping. And I'm out. Bye, y'all.